before I went on this trip, I I was into a lot of things. I really didn't I really didn't care too much about anybody else except for me. And like when I was in high school, I I, I was so persuaded easily. And I tend to like not hide my faith, but I can kind of shrink back a little bit. This is my very first mission trip I've ever been on, and it was the most amazing thing I've ever done in my entire life. It would be almost insulting to try describing what I saw. And I would go back in a heartbeat. Everything put together is just like a masterpiece. You can't describe in words the Mona Lisa. You just gotta see it for yourself. You gotta be there. And this is much more than a little painting. Uh, it's people's lives. Some of these houses we're building are in the midst of, you know, trash piles and there's garbage dumps all around us. Just the amount of love that they show, as soon as you show them a little love, is just, it, it amazes me. Not one of them is lazy. They all do what they're supposed to be done, and then when it's time for them to play, they play. The children that didn't have anything. Jesus is a life-saving message for them. The trip's not about you, it's for God, and it's for the people that you're going out there to save. They were just... They were so open and ready to hear what we had to say to them. And when we were ministering to them, they were just like, He loves us. He loves us. They never knew. They never knew that God, who created the whole entire universe, loved them. He wanted God. You could see it in his eyes. I've never seen anybody so hungry for God before. So they're so receptive to the gospel. I read them the story of the prodigal son and then explained to them like, what the story meant. After that, they asked if they had any prayer requests. And the lady was like, Yes, we want to pray the prayer of salvation. <laughs> so we're like, Cool! Awesome! It's cool, but it changed my life. I've been changed on this trip. It just changed me. This trip just dramatically changed my life. That really changed me because it was just like, wow, I'm going to come home bold. I'm not going to be timid anymore. I know that I can tread on scorpions, I can tread on lions, I can tread on snakes. I have the power of God in me. Every time I'd open my Bible on my quiet time, it seemed like every verse was strength, 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 strength. Strength in God. I think that's the biggest thing I'm going to take and remember. I feel like I'm better at witnessing and I can take that to my college campus now. That two months in Africa showed me a lot about who God is and his heart for people and just how like how blinded I was from in Western culture. Like, I go to Africa and everything's so like so heartfelt and so everybody's so hungry for God and maybe more hungry for God. I don't want to walk in what I used to walk in. I don't want to do the things I used to do. I have no desire for it. I just want to follow God. Um, they'll see different actions in my life and they'll be like, well you know Ben's changed. There's no words I could say to actually describe what I've seen, what I've done, you know, what God's done through me. Jesus said, if these are quiet, the rocks will cry out. I don't want a rock to do my job. I want to do my job for Christ. I'm just saying, like, if anyone's out there and they want to experience it, then you got to go for yourself. Think about whatever else you're going to be doing at home. What are you going to be doing at home if you don't go on the trip? You know, going to the movies, hanging out with your friends. You know, you could be going out there and changing lives. If you're thinking about not going, don't. Just go. Just do it. You just go.